In this tutorial video, I would like to show you the different applications we can model within Epsilon. To get a quick start on the program, you can always take a look at the Apps Wizard, which you find in the question mark menu. In the first step of your selection, you choose the technology, such as an hard coal power plant. And we could, for instance, choose a 750 megawatt block with combustion and the controller. The parameter specification dialog pops up where we could change some of the main parameters of our water steam cycle. So I could, for instance, change the live steam pressure to 300 bar. And when I switch to design and simulate this cycle, it creates this cycle with a 300 bar of live steam pressure. And then we can once again switch to the off-design cases and perform simulations. Other applications could be, as you can see, combined cycle plants, repowering measures, cooling cycles, organic Rankin cycles, and now very fastly developing kind of application are the solar parts, so let's take a look at this. Here we see a solar power plant with a detailed field geometry included in this collector components and if we take a look at the time series calculation we see that we have a different a meteor data meteorological data for two sites that we can choose from so you see the dni data is there for one year. This uh, time series calculation could be used in order to perform annual return calculations of our specific solar field. So the apps wizard gives you the chance to get an overview over the different applications you can model with Epsilon and of course you can modify or use parts of those cycles in your own models which is also a, a big help if you start out as a new user. What you have already seen during the first videos of the introduction uh, is the option to open a help file for each of the components. So there is a complete introduction to the component on the parameters that you can specify there. And of course, as usual, there are the equations solved within Epsilon. You can also go by chapters and start with getting started and go on with a simple cycle tutorial which is more or less very similar to the cycle we have modeled in this tutorial. Another valuable detail is the possibility to open a 
example file to any of the components, if you scroll down to the end of the help file, you will always find this link, which will open which will open a example file for a certain component in a very basic configuration so you get the idea how to configure such a component within the framework of a whole cycle. So as you can see all of those cycles are running successfully you can take the configuration from this example file and transfer it to your own model. I hope that you enjoyed these first six videos of the introduction and uh, stay tuned for further episodes.